Just last month, Iceland became the first country in the world to introduce a law that requires equal pay for men and women. The Scandinavian island also ranks first in the World Economic Forum's gender equality report. So what is Iceland doing right? This branch of IKEA in Reykjavik was a pioneer in implementing the new law. Half the staff and the majority of managers are female. And that's good for business, says the CEO. It's absolutely impossible to, for the for long term to have a profitable company unless you have your staff happy. Happy staff, they are producing more, they're selling more, and uh, if half your staff is not happy, it's absolutely impossible to have a decent business. Uh, uh. In Iceland, equal rights start at home. Men and women are entitled to three months parental leave each per child, plus an additional three months to share. Hjalmar is taking parental leave so his partner can go back to work. In the beginning, where they are like growing and, uh, and uh, getting to know things and learning themselves, it's good for me to get the connection. And for me, uh, it's really important that I can turn back to my job and ha still have my job and have high salaries, as high as the man. Gender studies classes were first launched here 10 years ago. Now they're compulsory at most high schools. There will not be equality nowhere in any society if the school system is not an active part in it. We mold the, their uh, ideas here. But even Iceland still needs to evolve. Alongside its record on equal rights, the country has high rates of violence against women. Find out more about Iceland's recipe for gender equality tonight at 8.40 p.m. CET on Insiders on your news.